Hi, I'm Jer. Welcome to Kill Devil, where we focus on ramen cocktails. Today, we are going to make one of my new favorite cocktails, the corn and oil. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. In either case, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything that I do. As always, timestamps are down below if you just want the recipe. Otherwise, here's a little background. We don't know much about the history of the corn and oil. When it was made the first time, who created it, we don't know. Some people suspect that it was created in Barbados because it contains falernum, and the most common falernum used in the corn and oil is John T. Taylor's, which come out of Barbados. But really, we don't know. Most recipes for the corn and oil call for a blackstrap rum. There's a lot of different types of blackstrap rum, so some of them will work, some of them will not. Another good choice for rum would be a Barbados rum, because maybe this cocktail is from Barbados. The best corn and oil I ever had was using a Jamaican rum. I also have a friend that uses spiced rum in their corn and oil. So really, I think you can use just about any rum that you like in this recipe, except for maybe a white rum. But I've not tried that. If you do, let me know how it turns out in the comments down below. I like making my corn and oil in the glass. I've had shaken corn and oils, and those turn out very good as well. In the glass just seems easier to me. The first thing I'm going to do is fill my lowball with ice. Dry my hand. Three dashes of Angostura bitters. You can try other bitters if you like. Most recipes call for Angostura. Half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Half an ounce is 15 milliliters. Half an ounce of falernum. Again, half an ounce is 15 milliliters. Finally, two ounces of rum. And in this case, I'm using black strap. And two ounces of 60 milliliters. Some people like to float it. That doesn't seem to make sense in my mind because most of the cocktail is rum. So floating it on top, I mean, it'll give you a nice color gradation. But there you go. I'm not going to float it. Instead, I'm going to give it a quick, quick stir. And then the garnish, lime wedge. Perfect, perfect, just the way I like them. But there you go, the corn and oil, drink with good spirits.